This is again one of the most requested videos in the comments and I think it's because like half the Indian population is interested in computer science. So let's get right into it. Disclaimer, I'm not going to give you any of those standard boilerplate ideas for what to do with computer science because I think that they don't really impress colleges. So I'm going to try and give you really unique and standout ideas that you can actually take to the next level if you're interested in. I want you all to be able to build these into really impactful and really impressive extracurriculars. With that said, let's get right into it. The easiest thing that you can do if you're interested in computer science is to start a coding club. This can help other young students in your community who are interested in computer science learn more about it. You can teach things all the way from a beginner level to an advanced level, starting with scratch and moving up to website building, app building, etc. If you are someone who identifies as female, you can also check out Girls Who Code. This is an international organization that creates clubs all across the world to try and bridge the gender gap and bring more females into a STEM field like computer science. If you're passionate about equality in STEM and computer science, this is a great opportunity for you. You could be the one to start a program in your school and help other young girls get involved with CS. The second idea I have is to build an app that solves a very specific need. For this, you need to go in with an entrepreneurial For this, you need to go in with an entrepreneurial mindset and look for different problems to solve. I'll give you some examples. You could build something where students can post inter-school competitions that their school is hosting and other students can form teams and decide to sign up together. Or if you notice that students in your school really struggle to manage their deadlines, you could build something that pre-fills all of their deadlines for them and makes a customized study plan based on their needs. One of the things that I wrote in high school was a program that connects high school students with internship opportunities and volunteer opportunities based on their specific interests. The site is actually quite outdated now because I built it a while ago and I haven't added new opportunities. Similarly, you could build an app that connects high school students who are interested in tutoring with orphanages that need volunteer tutors for their children. Possibilities are endless as long as you identify a problem that needs to be solved and then come up with an app that can solve that problem. The third idea is to combine your other interests with computer science. Now the thing about technology is that it's seeped into every aspect of our lives. There's almost nothing that you're interested in that you can't in some way help or enhance using technology. For example, if you're into music, you could build something where users enter the three or five chords that they know how to play on the piano. And then you can give them a list of songs that they can play using only those chords. Or you can build something that connects musicians and helps them collab. For example, help a singer find a songwriter and an instrumental musician based on their interests and needs. Basically, think about the other hobbies that you have and then find a way to engage in those using computer science. The fourth thing you can do is a machine learning project. Now, machine learning is one of the easiest things in computer science to learn. If you're starting off new with courses on Coursera or Udemy, it shouldn't take you more than a few weeks. If you don't know, machine learning is basically about teaching a computer to recognize or classify something. For example, if you have pictures of eye scans, and some of them are healthy and some of them have different diseases, you can teach a computer to recognize just by looking at the image which one is a healthy scan and which one has which specific disease and tell you that. One of the really creative projects I've seen with this is someone who made something for farmers to help protect their plants. You can just click a picture of that plant and upload it and the program will tell you whether it was healthy or whether it had some kind of leaf disease. You can also identify things like anemia through someone's nails. This is actually true, someone has done this. You can have these projects by themselves or you can send it to a science fair like for example the IRIS, which is the road to the most prestigious international science fair in the world. I would highly suggest going to their website and looking at some of the past winning projects in computer science. There's a lot of inspiration to be found there. The fifth thing you can do in computer science is some kind of internship. Now finding an internship is tough because you need some kind of specialized skill, whether that's web development, backend, frontend, app development, anything. Your best bet for getting internships as a high school student is to email people in startups. Often startups are really happy to hire talented people, especially if you work for free as an intern. You can get a lot of really valuable experience. And this looks really great on a college applications because not many high school students take the initiative to cold email someone and get an internship. It shows that you've worked at a professional level while you're still a student under 18, which even as I just say, it sounds extremely impressive. 
I have a whole video on cold emailing, so you should definitely check that out if you're trying to get an internship. Similarly, you can also reach out to NGOs and offer to build a website or an app for them based on their needs. Essentially, you're creating an internship or a work position for yourself. If you identify as female, you can also participate in something called Technovation Girls. This is an international program where you learn how to conceptualize, code, and build an app from scratch. We made an app in a car to educate students and for students help pregnant ladies in the rural areas to so create awareness and unemployment. You also enter a worldwide competition with your team and you get the opportunity to get mentored by some of the best people in the industry. This is another amazing program that aims to bridge the gender gap for girls in STEM. In the final idea on my list is to participate in hackathons or programming competitions. The biggest and the most prestigious international coding competition in the world is called the International Informatics Olympiad. I talk about this more in my awards video, the one-way ticket to MIT. But essentially, you have to qualify through some kind of national or regional round. If you live in India, that's called the Indian Computing Olympiad. Now, be aware that only four to six people each year from each country get up actually get sent to this Olympiad, so you need to be really good to qualify. But if you do give it a shot, I guarantee that you'll learn a lot in the process. Along with this, you can also participate in things like IMO or the International Linguistics Olympiad, which are closely related to the field of computer science. You can also try and find local hackathons in your city. Your school might participate in a few of them, or neighboring schools might be hosting a few of them. I know, for example, that Oak Ridge hosts a hackathon every year. If your school doesn't have a team for these kind of things, you can request the management to form one. I'm sure you can get a lot of other students on board who are also interested in computer science, and together you can compete in different hackathons. This is a great way to get some experience, win some awards, and learn a lot about practical computer science. Those are all my extracurricular suggestions for high school students interested in computer science. If you think I missed out anything, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. My weekly email newsletter called Sunday Snippets is linked in the description below, where every Sunday you get exclusive tips for students delivered to your inbox. And I also answer some of my subscribers' questions there. So if you want your question to be featured, drop a comment below with your question and the hashtag StudentLife. If you haven't already, subscribe because I make content about Ivy League applications, blogs, lifestyle, etc. If you're watching till this point, comment computer science gang and drop your future video requests below and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!